Honourable Ministers and Government Representatives, um, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, and of course, dear children, good morning. Uh, my apologies for speaking in English, and I will be brief. It gives both myself and my UNICEF colleagues a great pleasure to be with you here today and to take part in this year's celebration of Menstrual Hygiene Management Day, known as Girls' Hygiene Day in Afghanistan. This year's theme is It's Time for Action, which not only emphasizes the urgency of this public health issue, but also highlights the transformative power of improved girls and educational opportunities. I applaud the government of Afghanistan's dedication and commitment to advancing menstrual hygiene among adolescent girls. As you are aware, the world first started celebrating Menstrual Hygiene Day in 2013, while Afghanistan celebrated this day for the first time in 2017. Since then, the government of Afghanistan has prioritized menstrual hygiene management while safeguarding the dignity of every girl and woman. This has helped to break the silence and to strengthen awareness about the fundamental role that good menstrual hygiene management plays in enabling girls to reach their full potential. As we've already heard, a 2016 UNICEF study showed that more than half of girls had almost no knowledge about their menstrual cycle and how to manage it. Given the sensitivity of this topic, girls find it difficult to speak with their mothers, teachers and classmates about it. Similarly, as we've heard, due to cultural norms, most parents also find it difficult to speak with their children about sensitive issues such as menstruation even though they admit that the provision of information is their responsibility. As a result, schools remain the best placed platform to provide awareness training. It is our collective responsibility to ensure that every girl is equipped with accurate information on menstruation as a normal biological process. Educating girls on menstruation management builds their self-esteem and confidence it also contributes to social solidarity, encouraging healthy personal hygiene practices amongst the wider population. In 2018, in collaboration with the Ministry of Education and with the Ministry of Women's Affairs, Religious Affairs and Public Health, UNICEF developed a comprehensive menstrual hygiene management guide for teachers. We've already heard a little about this. The booklet is entitled, Wisdom of Girls, Health and Success, and he's accompanied by a comic book entitled Sadat's Untold Stories for Adolescent Girls. This year, we were able to publish more than 100,000 copies of this booklet in both Dari and Pashto, and to distribute it in 22 provinces. In coordination with the Ministry of Education, UNICEF is also training teachers in provinces that have high rates of out-of-school girls. In order to ensure that we reach the most vulnerable adolescent girls, UNICEF has also initiated menstrual hygiene initiatives in a number of community-based education and accelerated learning centers in selected provinces. However, these actions alone are not enough. This year's theme, It's Time for Action, is a reminder for all of us to continue to prioritize menstrual hygiene management. UNICEF is committed to support the government of Af Islamic Republic of Afghanistan to scale up this, pro this program in the best interest of adolescent girls and young women. Once again, it is a genuine pleasure to be with you here, and especially here with the children, and to observe a very important day that aims to break taboos and to raise an awareness of the importance of good menstrual hygiene management and to empower and safeguard the dignity of every, of every adolescent girl in Afghanistan. Thank you.